So Margul is coming at least twenty minutes a day. Mm. This is a reverberation which will bring a certain vibrance and dynamism to your energy system. It will also make you slightly inebriated, but this is an inebriation which does not bring incapacity, it enables you. If you do your sadhana well, your body will not let you down, your mind will never let you down. When we want to cross the boundaries of our present existence, you need madness in your heart, but absolute balance in your head. This is the sadhana. To bring the fire of madness in our hearts, but absolute stability and stillness in our minds, and dynamism in our bodies. For this to happen, sadhana is very important, otherwise there's no other way. But also, finding rhythm with the natural processes that are happening is… is significant if not absolutely important. Why waste something that's supporting us when it is available free? If you were to sa sail in the oceans without powered ships of today, if it is a sail, now uh, Every little breeze and wind, you're watching out because this will decide whether you're going to go somewhere or go nowhere or end up in the wrong place. Well, there was a time when I was flying hang gliders. There have been days, go to the mountain cliff and sit there and sit there and sit there wait for the right wind to come. There have been days, weeks, where we sat there, sat there, sat there, but never flew. But if you get little impatient and think, okay, let… what the hell, let me try it, those people flew away. <laughs> so there was a saying among the hang glider pilots, there are Bold pilots and old pilots, there are no bold old pilots. <laughs> so, old <laughs> Because when there is a natural assistance, best to use it. So the month of Margali is coming, 16th of December to 14th, 15th of January is Margali, till fourteenth is Margali. What this means is, in terms of inertia in the northern hemisphere of the planet, this is a month where the inertia is at its highest. That means, you tend to become like that. Unknowingly, everything slows down. Physical body tries to slow down. Uh, we must make sure we're active. Otherwise, body slowing down is not just about the body, it'll also suck the mind into it and make it a little depressive. It is recorded everywhere in the world that during the winter months, the volume of psychological depressive conditions are multiply. I don't know the stats, but they multiply. Because naturally, there may be other aspects, their social activities and other things have come down. Those are also there. But it's a fact, well established, that if you sprout a seed in the month of March, how it'll sprout, 
If you try to sprout the same seed in this margali between December and January, how it'll sprout, there is a difference. It's because of this, in southern India, it was almost like banned. A woman should never conceive in this month. If she conceives in this month, it could be not so developed kind of baby coming out, you know? <laughs> I didn't point at anybody <laughs> So a lot of precautions being taken to see that a woman does not conceive in this month because what sprouts in this month will not be of the best quality. There are stories in the tradition which says uh, during Margali month you don't do anything auspicious, women should not conceive, all kinds of things. And they say, at this time certain spirits will come upon you and you will become dumb. So you should not do any business deals, any auspicious things you should not do because you will do a stupid deal. So when things are slowing down like this, it's good to do certain things. This is why you started lighting the lamps all over the place. Because lamp light, fire, energy, make some difference. Today you may not understand the difference because everywhere electric lights are on and you visually don't feel it. And essentially, you are uh, nearly seventy percent or more totally visually dependent on perception. Hmm? You take away your eyes or your sight, mm, nearly seventy percent of your perception is gone, other things not working so much. We can change it and we should change it. This is one aspect of yoga. That is, we bring down the visual perception, the proportion of the visual perception, not that you'd want to lose your eyesight, no. You bring it down, that's the idea of closing your eyes and sitting. No FOMO. <laughs> Forgo. <laughs> Close your eyes and sit means your visual perception is done. What are they talking? <laughs> Initially, these issues are there after some time. You know whether it's a breeze blowing or somebody talking or some other rubbish happening, it's all about the same, just noise. Hello? Take some time to figure it out, otherwise every sound, one sound is wonderful, another sound is horrible, this sound is beautiful word, that sound is bad word. Uh, if you just listen to the sounds, not simply make up meanings in your head all the time. Why are you going on typing out things, transcribing things in your mind? Hello? Even now I'm saying. Just sounds, listen. Then you will see from where is a sound coming that is… that will nurture your life. From where is a sound coming? which does not nurture your life. Because you're going on transcribing it into whatever stupid language you know, then uh, you do not know the quality of the sound. Simply learning to listen without any transcription in your mind is important. Then you would simply know how to be in rhythm with the natural processes of life. So Margal is coming, it's good this month, all of you who are here at least, maybe we can even tell everybody else, from sixteenth of December onwards or from now we can start, at least twenty minutes a day or when you're walking, when you're doing work, mm -hmm. What, no, to utter this sound, your mouth should be shut. Mm. Just as much as possible, because this is a reverberation. 
which will bring a certain vibrance and dynamism to your energy system. If body rests, it's okay. But if your energy sleeps, you're rapidly moving towards death. Death does not mean how long you live. Who cares how long me or you live, how we live? Hello? How we live, the quality is important. Long, what does it matter? Whether you're seventy, eighty or ninety or one hundred and sixty, <laughs> what does it matter, I'm asking? Quality of life. How alive am I to everything in the universe? Has my aliveness reached its peak? Peak means... See, essentially it's about this. Life is about perception, what we perceive. Being totally alive means your antenna is fully on. Everything there is to be perceived is perceived then you die with the fulfillment of knowing life. You are full of static You know sometimes your phone goes like this, Hello! 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 <laughs> All you get is <laughs> Depends what service you're on. Frustrating, isn't it, when you can't hear what you need to hear? Hello? Even for you to get frustrated, you must hear for some time and then not hear, then you'll get frustrated. Otherwise you will die innocent. This is called as ignorance is bliss. It's not bliss, it's just dumb. Maybe there is no suffering, there is no ecstasy. For this you could have come as a rock, at least we could have used it in construction <laughs> Hello? If you came as a rock, we could have used it somewhere. What is the use? The peak of evolution on this planet sits like an inanimate thing. What is the point of that? There's no point to that. So, physical body, there are many things to do with it, for it to become fit enough to hold or station something of a superior quality. Because the platform is equally important. If the platform is not good, what you house in it will also be not so great. So in that context, body is very, very important, how we keep it. It is not about you have muscles to show but you can't turn your neck. <laughs> no, not like that. <laughs> uh, it's at ease, it never comes in the way. If you want to go this way, it'll go this way. If you want to go that way, it'll go that way. Wherever you want to take your life, you can go. Your body will not say, I want to eat this, I want this, I want that, I want that. It will not take you somewhere else. Your body becomes a vehicle which goes where you want. Any vehicle, any damn vehicle that you drive, if it does not go where you want, you will be frustrated and miserable, yes or no? You're driving a motorcycle or a car, but it doesn't go where you want, it goes somewhere. It wants to go here, it wants to go there by itself. This is a horrible vehicle, isn't it? If you understand the body, if you experience the body as a vehicle and mind as another vehicle or another part of that vehicle, they must go where you want to go. If they go somewhere else, they have not been prepared well, steering wheel is out of control or engine is not firing enough. So right now, Margali time, we are more concerned about everything firing properly. So, sound, mm, can do this. It will also make you slightly inebriated, but this is an inebriation which 
does not bring incapacity, it enables you. This is that kind of inebriation. One day it happened, Shankaran Pillai's wife, wife, <laughs> took him to a psychiatrist because he had become such a compulsive alcoholic. So the psych psychiatrist studied for him for some time and uh, then after a few hundred dollars of bills, then he said, see your problem is you're using alcohol as your crutch. Shankaran Pillai said, I don't agree with that nonsense. If it was my crutch, why am I falling down all the time? <laughs> so, your body should hold you up, not let you down. Your mind should hold you up, not let you down. Hello? If it lets you down, today, <laughs> So many massive businesses have been built, hoping you will, your body and your mind will let you down. So, they are also in the process of market development. So that's a different business. But if you do your sadhana well, your body will not let you down. Your mind will never let you down if you do the right things. In this process, being with the cycles of nature also, if you manage, then it's absolute, it's much, much better. Otherwise, winds are not in your favor. You try to sail. Hard work, you have to row. Lot of hard work. If you go with the winds, it goes little easy, much less work. It's your choice. If you like to grow your muscles more than going somewhere, you want to have big muscles, you must grow. But you want to go somewhere, it doesn't matter you have something to show or not, then you must go. <laughs> you must be in tune with what's around you. <laughs>